welcome to Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. My name is Marie-France Garon and today I am with my friend Gail and Gail has prepared a nice lunch for us. So what are we going to have, Gail? We're going to have a Mediterranean um, tuna salad. Oh, yummy. lots of extras. And very healthy, huh? Yes. Mm. Mostly organic. Uh huh. Yes. Excellent. So we, it, she's prepared everything already, just about. So we're gonna just uh, plate it now. So what do we put on our salad first? Well, base is going to be spinach. So we're gonna start with a handful of organic um, baby spinach, and then we're going to add a scoop of. Tuna. Okay, tell us what's in our tuna here. Well, it smells beautiful. There's uh, garlic in this. There is garlic in this and onion and celery and then um, the tuna itself though was um, wild caught uh, tuna oh. that was uh, from Iceland and oh, the, they test it for mercury. Uh -huh. So we're watching the mercury of content yeah. of our food and so this is a very low uh, mercury. It was low salt so I added pink Himalayan salt. That's the best. To it, yes, yes. exactly. And yep. um, it has some of my spices from my organic garden back oh. in Ontario, Canada. Uh, I have some um, organic oregano and organic uh, basil. Wow, so, nice. It smells beautiful. Excellent. What are we adding to this now? Okay. I think what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to add some feta. Where would you think we that love go? feta? Yeah, we, we can put, it, put on it, it on the side. side. Yeah. Okay, and we've got some Kalmata olives. Oh, and nice. Some and some big green olives big as green well. Big green olives. We love olives. Okay. It's beautiful. And then we're going to add um, some, some artichokes. artichoke. Beautiful. We're going to make this pretty because it's a lot of green, but that's what we eat, is a lot of healthy, clean, green food. But we're going to top it with some red. Nice So coloring. this is organic um, red pepper. Uh -huh. And I thought we could just maybe do something kind of ah, pretty see. like that. Yeah, that's going to look good. And then we're going to add some avocado. We have some avocado. And this is uh, the, the very large um, It's avocados. a very, very big avocado look at here how, that we have. Look at how beautiful oh. and green and perfect that yep. is. Um, so we can't have too much avocado. No, we can't we have too much. So delicious and healthy. Yeah. Yes. So, and then how about some cucumber? Organic... Um, English cuke and, and we have, we have a little there. bit of hummus and again it is organic. Oh, oh my And goodness. now we're going to add some cheese, keto, the keto cheese Look chips. At this. And I've put spices on them, so they're all spices uh, from my herbs from my garden. How do we make and those? These are chips. They are just grated cheese. So this is um, jack cheese, um, mozzarella, and um, some cheddar cheese. And I just put the grated cheese on a parchment sheet, on a cookie sheet, and uh, bake it for about seven minutes, and it bubbles and bubbles. Uh, yeah. Just put it on a cookie sheet at 400 degrees. And the beauty of these is that there's no, uh, there's no flour, there's no starch at all. So instead of eating a cracker out of a box or eating uh, bread with all kinds of carbs and that turns to sugar immediately in your body, mm -hmm. this is a very healthy choice. Yeah. So we're going to put a couple of those with different spices around the plate. So the spices, you put them also on top of the cheese and, and then you and send then it I melt, in the oven. Let it melt. Excellent. And, the and oh. then I put them on paper towels to uh, absorb, to absorb the grease fat. and then I threw those paper towels out and put them on fresh paper towels so that we got rid of all the greasy, fatty yeah. um, that came out of the cheese. How? Oh, what a good idea. I'm really 
impressed with that. And now we're going to put on the um, drizzle on some of the dressing that I made this morning with organic olive oil. Um, always use first first press cold press yes. and um, this um, balsamic vinegar, vinegar and some Ontario um, Maple syrup Whoa. from Lanark County, which is the maple syrup capital of Canada. Uh huh. And I have also some herbs from my garden in this as well. And so we're going to just sprinkle, uh, drizzle a little bit of this uh, over top of everything. Not too much because we don't want to overwhelm with sweet flavor, but it's got that Mediterranean with the balsamic and the olive oil, it has the Mediterranean flavor to it. So we're ready to try and this is our tuna, Mediterranean tuna salad prepared yeah. by Gail today. And it's the first time we're eating this, so oh, it's going to nice. be good. Thank you very You're much welcome. and bon Thank appetit. You. Okay, bon appetit. And Gail has prepared a very healthy dessert here. What do we got in here? Well, we uh, started with fresh pineapple being in Florida. Uh -huh. We have access to some beautiful fruit that is just delicious and fully at its prime. And um, so I've chopped up the pineapple in the bottom of this uh, dish and then put some vanilla yogurt with stevia. So yes. uh, for a sweetener. sweetener and then um, dark chocolate grated on top and then uh, some pieces of dark decadent 85% dark chocolate. Mm. Very delicious and healthy. Yes. Thank you Thank and you. bon appetit. Okay.